What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video with the Night Crew. In today's video, we're going to be answering your guys' questions. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, let's see here. I got it pulled up. We're going to go down. First go question. All the way to the bottom. Let's see here. Where did we buy? Which one was that? Oh, that's for the Tesla radio. Where did we buy it and how much did we pay? I bought the radio on eBay for $600, and I'm pretty, yeah, it came with Apple CarPlay, pretty much everything already into it. It's basically like a tablet, just with the, uh, what is it, bezel, yeah. already fitted onto it. Yeah, Everything it was. was pretty, I think it was made pretty good. It was because, just an Android tablet. Yeah, it was made pretty good for what I got especially since it's only $600 for basically, you know, a full-size Tesla radio. Mm -hmm. I thought it was pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, how much is it? Oh, that was for that. Uh, have an RST. Let's see, it says, is there a function to keep my heated seats and heated steering wheel? Yes, it came with all of that. It just whenever you bought it it would ha it would ask what all you had like in your truck and it would come with that all pre-programmed does the factory tailgate camera plug and play we had to do some wiring for that didn't we like the factory one well, oh, i didn't have factory you, you yeah we yeah he had the base model he had a tradesman mm-hmm so we installed an aftermarket backup camera that linked to your mirror, and then mm -hmm. we relocated the. It was complicated. That's if it, it will plug and play to your stock camera, aftermarket camera. We had to do some wiring. A yeah, whole bunch of splitting and splicing. It was, I really don't remember it all. I just it know was, that you had an aftermarket camera. It was so much fun. Yeah. Uh, does it come with Apple CarPlay? Yes, it, it came with Apple CarPlay. Yep. The Tesla radio, does it work on a Ram 2500 tradesman? Yes, it works with all models from what? Uh, 09 Thir to no, 8. No, it was 13 because you remember 12 to 13, they switched the whole radio. On oh, the wiring. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So, so from oh, 13 to 18 or even the classics now. The classics. It should work in the classics. Yeah. It's all the same. Fourth gen body style, but 13 or newer. Uh, did you have to type in a code to select RAM high or low? I'm not sure what they're I, asking. Yeah, I don't really know that one. I mean, is that for full drive or what? I'm not sure. I really don't know. We didn't have to. If that's yeah, what. we didn't have to. I'm not sure what that was, though. How does that radio hooked hold up with aftermarket speakers and subwoofers oh it, it worked great <laughs> it worked real good i mean even then it was like it wasn't like you had tr bass treble all that like there is on the factory radio it was like equalizers and yeah, was, yeah i remember that and we, you had to go i had to go through and like just play around with it yeah and figure it out it like that and it was complicated like to actually find the right setting that i actually liked but when you found it, it was, it's yeah, it's it good. It's it was good. good. I liked it. I mean, it was no different than the factory radio we got now. Did you get any error codes? No, we never got any error codes for any of them. Oh, this is different video. This is for what is it? That's for my headlights, I believe. Yeah, that's for my headlights. Did, error codes? No. -uh. No, we had no error codes. It, it was all plug and play. We didn't have a few. Did you fuse tap for the DRLs? No, we did not fuse tap. That was all plug and play. Yeah, but mine came, my comes uh, stock with the DRLs. So it was like, it does come with a cord if you don't have daytime running lights. For those of you who don't know what DRLs, it's daytime running lights. It, it come with a cord that you just plugged into the back and ran it to your fuse box and you could fuse tap it. I got my phone to connect Bluetooth. How do I get the radio to connect to my phone when I click on YouTube and my phone to listen to music on the new radio. Let's see that. Yeah. I found it. 
Oh, yeah, he was asking about just connecting his, his Bluetooth. Uh, but on that radio, you could watch YouTube from the radio. Yeah. So you really didn't necessarily need the Bluetooth, but um, how did you Bluetooth? I mean, that wasn't my radio. How did you Bluetooth? I was just like... Just in the setting? Yeah, that's how I did it. And... Yeah, like if you have a hotspot on your phone, I would just connect your hotspot and watch YouTube on the radio. It's literally a tablet, so you just do. Mm -hmm. You start reading. Them. Okay, so he's saying I want to. This is for the Tesla radio. I want to install one of these. My concern is that my battery backup camera is connected to my rear view mirror. Would I need to run new wiring to get the backup camera to work on the screen? If it's factory, no, you wouldn't need to. Because it should come in with it behind already linked up to your radio. I would think. If it's factory to his mirror. That yeah. one's still because we did get the aftermarket one, or you got the aftermarket mm -hmm. one that went to the, your aftermarket mirror. You would probably have to do what we did. And it was just... I don't know how to explain it, because we'd have to get back behind the radio and look at all of that. I don't I don't really remember that. It's been, what, a year ago? Over two a year? year. Oh, two years. Yeah, because I had the Hemi for a year. Yeah, it's been a while. Um, I think we just... Because there is a... We just tapped into the, the wire for on the radio. I don't, I don't even want to get into it, because I, I really don't remember. It was a lot splicing and figuring it out yeah it's, it took us a while to figure that out at one point we had a movie playing it's supposed to be on the radio but it was on the rear view mirror playing and we were like what is going on we don't even know oh i was able to answer it uh oh yeah because we we tapped into it and it, it it uh it was in the mirror and on your screen so we just we just ran a regular wire from the mirror and just tapped it straight and tapped into it into the yeah I remember now I just forget which wire it was but it's in that that second video we have of the wiring and then this guy's saying uh, can you watch movies while the car is in motion <laughs> and yes it does but we don't recommend it but it does it definitely will yeah Yes, it did come with Apple CarPlay. We did not have to add an attachment for CarPlay. It came with it. Yes, why didn't we show how to wire it up? We made a second video for that. Well, the reason the reason we didn't show a video on how to wire it up, everybody always says, why didn't you show a video on how to wire it? We were brand new to YouTube. We had no clue that the wiring was going to be that big of a deal. Yeah, we didn't even think about it. We were just ready, we were ready to get that thing installed. Mm-hmm. Let's see oh, okay and the wiring for the, star the starlight how do we have power let's see here let me turn this camera around all right guys so this is how we're running power for the uh starlight kit um <laughs> extension cord goes into the center console comes out it's so right here this is the actual cord for the the what do you want to call it, the module for it and that's the module back there and there's the 800 wires right there that go up the c pillar but yeah we're just running it to this cord all the way to there but uh anyways that's how we uh, have it running for now we weren't we don't really know how else to run it we can't find anything so if you guys have any suggestions on how to like get something to just literally i think it's what is it a 110 yeah 110 110 even if it's running straight to the battery to a toggle switch i'd be willing to do that but i just don't know what exactly to get in order to have it wired up like that this is not this doesn't look very good but it works for now i mean it looks really cool but yeah these look cool but the white when you come down and let's see how it's plugged in 
Yeah, kind everybody. Of, kind anybody of an that eyesore. Always, yeah, everyone, any, everyone that always looks at my truck, they're like, oh, that's real cool. What's that? And I was like, <laughs> that's what powers the starlights. Yeah. I mean, but usually when people look in, they don't look at the, their <laughs> the plug. Their attention goes to the, to the stars. Uh, All right, next question. Oh, he's just saying that he's got it. Oh, wheel and tire spec on your truck. Oh, the wheel inspired to tire spec. <laughs> They're uh, 22 by 12 Archon. Uh, they're off-road, negative 44 offset, and they're on 33-inch uh, Katani mud hogs. Did you buy the Alpha Rex with converters or no converters? Is that mine? Yeah, it's the one on your truck. I did not buy them. <laughs> <laughs> they were his leftovers. <laughs> I got them for free. Yeah, I got the, those, and they weren't the two daytime running lights, so I was like, ah. So I got to get the, the other ones. <laughs> and so those were sitting in my barn, and I just I was like, "Hey, you want some new headlights?" They look better than my stock. That were uh, getting uh, conversation a little, in a them. little musty. Yeah. <laughs> uh, love the videos. Keep up the good work. Looking forward to getting on my fifteen hundred in the warmer weather. Appreciate you, Cop. We are definitely looking forward to the warmer weather. Yes. That's why we are in here. <laughs> it is extremely cold outside. Yeah, we got a few things to do outside, but kind of cold. Uh, did you wire the daytime running lights? No, we did not wire the daytime running lights. I'm pretty sure yours comes with daytime running lights, right? Mm, yeah, the, they're just the top. You have the two bars. I just have the top bar. No, I'm talking about your truck. Like it came. We didn't have to do anything extra, did we? They're just plug and play on mine. I thought so. We didn't do anything extra on mine. Do you have a level kit on the blue truck? Yes. It's like two and a half, ain't it? Pretty sure it's two. Maybe it, three. It came with the truck when I bought it, the leveling kit. What's the best bulbs to get for these? I want to We have... I have ran halogen, HID, and LED. I would say get LED. Yeah. Because... I, I have nighttime blindness, and I've ran all three of those as well. LED is the way to go. There's so our much opinion. easier. Yeah. Like, for the... What is it? HIDs? You cannot touch them. Oh, my gosh. And there's, like... There's so much that you have to go. There's Dude. the ones that look bright blue at night, too, right? No, they're not bright blue. They were bright white. But oh, white. they literally... It was so much work because you had to drill a hole through the back just to get, like, the ballast, which is the thing that tells your truck that you actually have a bulb there because otherwise it won't work. Yeah. If you had just got the LED, you could have just it's just a bulb. it in. It's literally just a bulb. You just It's not even a bulb. It's just, it's just put it in and it's good. Same That's connector it. as the halogen. Yeah, it's, I think it's H11. I'm pretty sure ours have H11. And they're, it's really easy to do. It's just LED is the easiest and best looking in my opinion yeah i'm about to switch mine to the reflectors because they're bright that's the, that's another it's not a question but the difference between the projectors and reflectors the reflectors are brighter but it just depends on what you prefer like looks wise and mm -hmm. if you can't really see that well at night like me <laughs> i'm gonna have to go back to reflectors dang so you're telling me Four LED cubes and a light bar is not enough. You need some <laughs> reflector, reflector headlights, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Those sit kind of low. They're bright, but they, you, you know, you can't see out as far as the high beams. When are we getting merch? Oh, we have merch, but we've only made ourselves merch. <laughs> so we have that's we've only had one question, or yeah, only one person has asked that question. Well, if you guys want merch yeah if you want just send us a, a dm on instagram or at, comment either way yeah or leave a comment and we'll get in contact with you somehow we'll figure it out where can i get a tesla radio do you still keep all your stock controls yes yes and you can get one there's a lot of different websites where you can get a, a tesla radio like phoenix audio makes one 
Oh, I'm trying to think. I had a Lynx well. A Lynx well makes one, and it's pretty much for most vehicles. They have it for most vehicles. Yeah. But that's, you can honestly get one on eBay, and it'll come with either one of those, and they'll get you all hooked up with all that. It's usually cheaper than going to, like, straight from wherever it is. But I got mine on eBay. It worked great up until... Uh-oh. Yeah, that's the accident. Uh, was looking for the exact ground spot you used on yours. Oh, for my subs? Yeah, I just uh, grounded it to the, the bolt below the center console. I think that did mine, too. The back bolt of driver's seat. I'm pretty sure. Just anywhere on the cab, really. Anywhere should work. Would this fit a 2013 Ram 1500? Same What's radio. That? Same radio. Tesla radio? Yes. Yeah, it will. What years are the trucks? Mine's a 2014. Mine is a 2017. The front wheel drive auto comes on when your tires spin in the mud or snow. That's what I don't have. That's what the auto is. That's what he was saying. Oh, he's telling. Okay. Because remember, we were like, we don't even know what it's for. Yeah, I don't have auto. I'm not fancy like that. Huh. So, oh, look, that's for you. You got the blue ram. You got the same truck he has. Oh, cool. This video. Thank you. How's the light bar holding up? Um, not that great. <laughs> it was just a cheap one, but I still got the mounts, so I'm thinking about just changing it out with a, you know, a, a good brand light bar. It's, I mean, it still works, but there's a few pods on there that have just gone out, so. And they kind of flicker. Mm. So different ones flicker. I haven't found just the brackets, so that's why I went ahead and bought that whole kit. So I have the brackets. I just could, I could just buy a new bar and mount it to those brackets. So Honestly, for 80 bucks. Yeah, it was cheap. Worth it. It's, uh, it's good for 80 bucks. Yes. So, yeah. That's dope. Where did you hide the box module? We showed them where the, for the starlight oh yeah yeah we should it fits right perfectly behind my sub box and it's like out it's, of the way sits perfectly. the only thing in the way is this plug uh i got a 2014 ram 1500 slt you think it would be possible to completely take the headliner out of the truck through the back door i've got a crew cab i'm wanting to dye it black also how many watts are your lights it's definitely possible but we did not want to risk creasing it, so we left it in the truck. Honestly, to do that, you may have to take out... The seats. The seats. Yeah. That's the only thing. You would probably have to take out the seats to take it out. And you said you wanted to dye it black. I had... What was it? The, the suede liner. Yeah, the black suede. And honestly, I would say to do that. But we, that's my per personal preference. It's, we just didn't do it because we didn't pull the yeah. headliner all the way out. But if you already got it out and you want to dye it, you can do that. But just to put the black suede, I'm just saying that with the starlight, it would be better to put the suede because it gives you like a little buffer room to where you don't like see the imperfections in your roof. I don't know the answer to the wattage. Uh, I think it's, it's got to be 110 if it's a, that plug. No, what wattage are the lights? Oh, I have... Wattage. I don't know. That would have to be the box module. I have no clue. Yeah, I didn't know that was the answer. Hey man, those fog lights light up the woods great. What kind are they? I'm in the market for lights and I might as well spend a couple more dollars on the fogs. <laughs> the fog lights, those those are still doing great. Yeah, those are turned out way better than that light bar. Um, he's asking what kind they are. Mm -hmm. They're just some that I found on eBay. I put the link did I reply to that? Oh, yeah. The description of the video. Yeah, the, the link to those are in the description for that video. Uh, this video. What is your setup on the two 12-inch subs under your bench seats on the blue ram? I've been wanting to get some. On mine, I have the sealed... Uh, Q-bomb. Yeah, the Q-bomb box, and it's two kicker comp 12s. When I'm I, my amp, I'm running a fifteen hundred watt. Boss. Uh, mm -mm. Oh, you switched it. Planet Audio. Planet Audio. Yeah, that's right. I had Boss before that. Mine. Yeah, that's what I'm running. 
Hey, got, you can tell what you're running. I've got a, the same speakers, but I've got a Fox Fox and somebody, I think up there is somebody. But, and then I've got a Planet Audio something. No, Power Acoustic. you got to find out. i got a Power Acoustic 2500 watt. Yeah, that's just a cheap one from Walmart, but it... It, it was it was pushing at one point I had three twelves and it was pushing all three twelves, no problem. Uh, can you post the sound of your subs? Yeah, we can. We just gotta find a song that won't get copyrighted. Yeah, we'll probably do that at some point. Well, we'll do that at the end of this video. We may. We're gonna go ahead and do that now. Yeah, we can go ahead and cut it and then post a sound clip of it. Yeah, we can do that. All right, guys, y'all wanted a video of the subs, and here it is. what they sound like as you can see the fox box does sound better it does make a big difference your box does make a big difference yeah on how it sounds you're looking to upgrade though yeah eventually. Uh, where did you get the brackets for the light bar and the fog lights they're they're both in the description of that video um, links in description but I got both of them on eBay and it was honestly a really good deal yeah like I said the light bar was trash but upgrading the light bar good. is not once you have it all in upgrading the light bar is the easiest part yeah you just have to mount it rewire it good work guys keep up the hard work thank you appreciate that uh have the same box uh sundown audio 12s i want to so talk about your box yeah, yeah i bet that sounds good yeah I would love those are expensive to, i would love to upgrade you Sucks. say what amp he's running um uh, terra amp terra amp I don't even know what that is, honestly. It's probably really good. Yeah. <laughs> you got sundown. Uh, uh, when you wire up the uh, light bar, where did you put the little black box and the fuse box? We took that in the... Right beside the... The apron. Yeah. On the... On the, on the driver's side. Driver's side, right next to the battery. In between the battery and the, ape, and the you know, fender just tucked in there zip tied in there uh where did we get the clips from oh the clips oh those blue clips yeah those things do really come in handy uh we got those from is it AutoZone or o'reilly's either one they i think both, both yeah both of them sell them it's just yeah they will help a lot with mm -hmm. any wiring you're if doing. you don't feel like soldering which we don't have that stuff and we i've never really soldered anything it's so much easier than cutting and splicing and electrical tape and yeah cutting you just it's, pinch them together and it works. It works great. But one thing you do need to do is electrical trait. Yeah, we tape. taped over because just in case the the metal actually accidentally. I mean, well, that's why the that's clip, just it clips over it. But yeah, just in case, you know, even if, be safe. That, that also holds it in place so that it won't come apart. Mm -hmm. How did you get the brackets on the light bar on the inside? It won't go over the bolt. I already answered this question, but uh, we had to drill it just a little bit bigger to fit around the. You remember that? After a little bit bigger, yeah. Uh, for the starlight, where'd you get the power from? We showed that. Yeah, we showed that. Uh, clips are awesome. That was the gold. Yeah. Uh, where did you get the headlights on the Eco Diesel? I have a 16 looking for headlights. Got it on eBay, and there's so many different options to choose from. But my exact ones, it'll say dual. DRL and I'm pretty sure the only ones you can get with dual DRL it'll come with the HID kit but 
like I said earlier, I wouldn't use the HIDs. I would just get two sets of LEDs and put those in because it's so much easier. Uh, where did I get my box? Fox, foxacoustic.com. That is, that is the place that I went to get it with. I got it like, how long ago? It was the first Eco Diesel. A couple years. Two or three years. Uh, wheel specs on the blue ram. That's it. That's it. We've already answered all these questions. That's all the questions. All right. All right, so that is going to be a wrap for today's video. If you enjoyed this video, please shoot it a thumbs up. Get down there, hit subscribe. We're about to hit our subscribal goal of 250. <laughs> but if you guys also want some merch, we will be getting some in. And so if you guys want some, just let us know. DM us on Instagram. Link will be in the description below. But we'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.